Hello friends in YouTube, today we are going to be updating Java development kit in Debian for that first we are going to check which version is the one that we have we open the terminal, we type Java version so as you can see here our version is 1.7 update 90, 95 okay so if we go to the Oracle website to check which one is the latest version we could see so if you don't know the 1.7 in refers to this 8 so it's the actual one is 1.8 update 77 so once we know that we have to update our system we first need to know which one is our base system 64 or 80 or 32 bits for that we're going in Debian we're going to settings once in settings details and base system here we go 64 bits so then we have to download one of these two for me it was it's going to be the TARG set. I have it downloaded already, but I will leave a link to the general page here so you can have to accept the license and download the one that corresponds to your system depending on 64 or 32 bits. As I say, I have it downloaded already. Our next step will be creating a folder where we are going to down do we extract all the JDK so sudo sudo then opt and in here I'm going to create a JDK kit I like it to call it like that you can call it JDK or Java anything you like I forgot to put mk there and make a directory so now we are going to access the downloads and here's where we got our tar file to extra extractor <coughs> we are going to say tar set x F, then the name of the file then I want you to copy it to extractor and copy it to opt jdk alright so and um, for this we also need uh, sudo permissions so once this is done we have two more steps so we first verify that it is copied there so we list the files that are inside and here we go we have the folder containing all our all our uh, JDK tools then we need to update so if I show you this update alternatives then display Java so these are the options that the system recognize for Java okay so we got it as we said before is a 7 we want to update it to the 8 so we update then we are going to install we are going to install the reference to user then bin, then java the name of the link so everything is going to be based on this display so as you can see the name is java so we type java here and then we give it the new reference where it is installed which is right there All right then inside this folder that is the bin and the java executable ok 
okay then the last argument of this is going to be the priority so how priority works so we have here 1071 so if we put here any number below that the original one is the one that is going to keep executing keep reading as the right one but for the sake of learning we're gonna just put a hundred all right all right again we need permissions that's good then now if we do the display again we will see that we have a new Java version let's see if we do Java version still showing us the 17.1 so what do we need to do we do sudo update alternatives then we give it a flag of configuration and then what we want to configure we're going to configure Java alright then from here as we said before the ones that is selected is the one with the star and is the one with bigger the highest priority alright so then how we say it says press enter and keep the current choice or enter a number so then the one we want is this one so we all we need to do is just enter number one enter and voila so if now we do java version what do we have we have updated our java you might think that this is all we need to do but it's not you also need to update the java c which is a java compiler all you need to do is the same steps but just changing c for the java all right so if we get back to here so we are going to say that we want to update the alternatives for the java c like that and we are good to go we do enter and then we also need to configure And in this case, it's already. Oh wait, no. Just enter to keep the same one, and then we have to change on the config Java for Java C. And then from here, well, we are already using the right one, so that's that's all what we need to do. From now, we have fully updated. Our Java version if in the future there is a new version that you want to install all you need to do will be one refer back to this video two for all the same steps you go to the Oracle website you download the latest version you install it and then you just simply run the sudo alternatives file dates configuration for the Java and you select the option that you actually want to use. Alright, see you around.